Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ravendor and Griffinclaw, the podcast where we talk about all things Harry Potter. I'm your host, Alex. And I'm your host, Natty. And today, we're going to be talking about all things Harry Potter with our houses, our Patronuses, our wands, as well as some fun games. So since this is our first episode, we are planning on doing some segments at the beginning before we get into our main topics. So a segment we have planned right now is the Reddit segment where Maddie talks about a Reddit thread and reacts to it. So let's get into it. Okay, so this Reddit post is, am I the asshole? for naming my son Harry Potter. Okay, so I took my husband's last name when I married him. His last name is Potter. We've been married for 10 years and recently had our first child. Originally, the plan was to call our future son Louis, Louis, which is spelled Louis, but is pronounced Louis. Michael, my husband's middle name being Michael. Louis being the name that we both, Louis, sorry, the name that we both liked. However, during my pregnancy, my dad passed away tragically and unexpectedly. He had been having abdominal, abdominal pain and fatigue for months and begged us to get treatment for him, but he didn't. He ended up having an aortic aneurysm behind the wheel of his car. He made impact with the traffic pole, but he was dead before impact. It destroyed me. We were incredibly close, and his death ended up causing my pregnancy to go from easy and calm to high risk. I'm still mourning him. It's been four and a half months and I'm still not over it. Okay, so first of all, I'm so sorry about that, you know, going through a loss like that. Um, my dad's name was Harry and conveniently his middle name was also Michael. I wanted to honor my father by calling my son after him, <laughs> but that would have meant his name would be Harry Potter. Anyway, I decided not to let the book, series, and movies rule my emotions and decision. And my little boy in big blue eyes and bright red hair is called Harry Michael Potter. He'd only be about three weeks old and he totally, and we're totally in love with him. And he's a decent little dude. We'll probably end up keeping him. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Are they planning on uh, putting him up for adoption? What does They're that gonna mean? They're going to go put him on the Dursley's doorstep. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh. I had a, a professional photo of him taken and formed a birth announcement, which I sent over via EPS and later put on Facebook. Being a birth announcement, Harry's full name is on the announcement. I've been getting an unending amount of ridicule and shaming from people for calling my son Harry. To add insult to injury, one of my so-called friends shared the birth announcement with a meme page and now I'm getting it from everywhere. My husband and I love the name. There's no question of keeping it. Okay. But I'm at the point where I'm considering asking my husband if he would change Harry's last name to my maiden name. So he'd be Harry Michael Vaughn. I'm pretty sure he'd agree since he's getting annoyed too. The worst is that the shaming online. You know, the toxic culture of Facebook and mom groups. I'm having people accuse me of child abuse. People saying I need to have the authorities, CPS, whatever, called on me. Am I the asshole for naming my son Harry Potter? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Dang, there's, dude. There's a couple updates. So, the first update. Just based on the first few comments, which my husband and I are both reading together, there's a nice mix of judgment, and we're each t taking one into account. Changing Harry's first name is not an option. It's a good name. It grows well. It suits a boy. It's a man. It's normal and classic. Right now, our decision is to change his last name. We could afford it, and it isn't that much trouble since he's only three weeks old. So the big question is, should I, should he just be Harry Michael Vaughn, or would Harry Michael Potter Vaughn work? Or should we just drop Potter altogether? My husband said that if we drop Potter from Harry's name, then he'll just hyphenate his own last name and become Richard Potter Vaughn. 
So the second update. So based on the comments, I'm more than willing to accept I'm the asshole for naming my son Harry Potter. I guess let's say hormones and grief fueled my decision. Next week, we're going down to the courthouse to change baby Harry's name from Potter to Vaughn. So he'll be Harry Michael Vaughn. My husband is going to start the process to change his name to Vaughn Potter, which will match because I've hyphenated my, my name, Jan Vaughn Potter. It'll be a process, but Harry is worth it. Last edit. I have supplied an edit where I accepted my judgment and advice offered. I'm done answering comments because now they're literally repeating each other. And I'm not going to answer every Tom, Dick, and Harry who tells me to change my son's name. If you read the whole post, including my edits, then you'll see that's already the plan. Sorry, I can't snap my fingers like Thanos and change it. But I'm human too. Mazel tov. I like the... I think, like, Vaughn Potter works well. I, I uh, They shouldn't... If they were to hyphenate, they should go Harry Michael... Vaughn Potter, maybe I yeah, think. Yeah, I think that's their plan. Because I think it just Harry, Harry Michael Potter, Vaughn sounds like I don't know. Potter Vaughn, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I mean, up to them. Yeah, I mean, I would have thought it would have been cool to have your name be Harry Potter, but people, I, are I crazy. understand people are crazy, yeah. And so I, I understand it. So I don't think she's the asshole, but it is what it is. Please enjoy words from our sponsor. All right, and now we're going to move into the next segment, which is a trivia segment Woo! where I'm going to give Maddie a deck of cards, and there's this uh, deck of cards with trivia questions on them, okay. uh, of Harry Potter trivia, and I'm going to hand it to Maddie, and she's going to ask me, let's say, five questions. Okay. And... In the... The way, the way that these cards work is they're, they're, they're questions each based off of your different houses. So I'm only going to be asking Alex questions based off of his house. Which you'll find out soon. Okay. So, I guess do I tell you which movie is... Yeah, the... tell me the movie and then... Yeah, so all of these cards are separated by movie as well. So that makes it a little easier. So okay. the movie and then the question. Okay, so this is from Half-Blood Prince. Why is the potion Immordia very dangerous? Immordia? Wait. Im Im Immort Immortentia? Yeah, Immortentia is Tintia, is the love potion. Right? It's because But why is it dangerous? Because um it it manufactures like a fake love. It's it's the most powerful love portion in powerful love potion in the world i'd give you that the, the, answer? the answer it says because it induces a powerful in yeah infatuation infection. uh amortentia that's what it's called sorry no, you're good <laughs> in the movie i haven't a while i was like i went amor amor amortentia like, yes that also because this print is so small i have glasses it's very small i can't really these cards, read that yes well. okay so this one is from the philosopher's stone okay who tells Harry that there's no such thing as magic? Uh, Dursley. Vernon Dursley. Correct. Ah, two points. Okay. I'm going to put some sound effects. Third question. This is the prisoner of Azkaban. Which teacher tells students that visiting Hogsmeade is a privilege? Uh, Professor McGonagall? Correct. Oh. Fourth question. This is from the Goblet of Fire. Who is the head of the Department of International Magic, Magical Cooperation? Uh, I have... Okay, wait. Oh my gosh, I have no... Wait, what? In, wait, say it again. Who is the head of the Department of International Magical Cooperation? <laughs> I have, like, no... No idea. Who? Oh gosh. Let me see. <laughs> Parmedia's... Crouch? Oh, Bar Barty Crouch. That's what I. That's what I. I was thinking it was Barty Crouch for a second. I was like, wait, is that is that really who it is? It's Barty Crouch. Bartamius Crouch. Okay, got that wrong. Okay. The last one. Last question. Okay. This is from Order of the Phoenix. Mm. During Harry's disciplinary hearing, who appears as a defense witness? <sighs> What's her name? What's her? It's the Squib. Um, don't tell me. It's the girl. What's her name? 
it's not 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 fudge that fudge is the minister uh i know who it is i can't think of her name um what's the first letter of her name p p that's gonna bug me no i know her name it's <sighs> do you give up no wait, uh, okay. wait yes i give up so you were not even close it wasn't a female it was a male oh was... albus dumbledore yeah it was that one dumbledore. there was another okay no i got that right i um i was thinking because there's another gr the other lady um who is the squib i couldn't i can't think of her name i thought that's what they meant but dumbledore is mm, yeah. witness for the defense albus percival wolfric brian dumbledore okay four out of five there we go and now let's get into our main topics for today Whoa. so today we're going to be talking about um you know our um you know harry potter uh, houses, our Patronus. Uh, Patronus, our wand types and cores and things. Um, so I guess you have your phone up first. My, I'm, we're using my phone to record. I'll grab it later. All but right. Maddie's going to begin. So, as you all know, my house is the wonderful Gryffindor. I'm, I'm a Gryffindor. Gross. You're gross. Okay, so next my Patronus is a St. Bernard dog, which I find kind of iconic because I love dogs so my wand I have a black walnut wood wand with a, a phoenix core which that is 11 inches and has a hard flexibility so I think that's really cool okay and then my Hogwarts house if you haven't guessed by the logo is Ravenclaw um, I have my Patronus is um, a brown hair, which is like a rabbit, like a, like a bunny. Uh, my wand is made of hazel wood. Um, it has a phoenix. I mean, not a phoenix a shell. Unicorn. It a unicorn hair, unicorn hair um, core, thirteen and three quarter inches, and of hard flexibility. I'm just looking at the new portrait feature on the app and if you can see up here um why, oh, why, why is it showing that that's why, right why is it showing the the raven her, claw her portrait logo? has raven claw banners above it i saw that today why? i wanted to kind of look into that um uh, uh to see if the portrait is i haven't I haven't lo logged on to the pottermore and now it's not called pottermore anymore it's just called wizarding world um so I have um, a couple ideas for the podcast and put these down in the comments. We're going to be posting this podcast on Alex and Maddie YouTube channel. Woo. So uh, put in the comments if you have questions. We're kind of thinking about maybe doing a segment of viewer questions at the beginning of the pod. So put down those questions. Um, maybe next time we'll have Maddie answer some trivia questions. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we'll all, we can also do like you know book things and whatever. So, uh, but leave us leave us suggestions for the podcast. What do you think? What do you want us to do? I've seen other people. You know, they kind of do um, podcast Harry Potter podcast about uh, like they're doing like um, fan fiction or stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, I kind of like the idea of us reacting to maybe certain theories and stuff like yeah. that. I kind of like those ideas uh, but let us know what you want us to do in the comments for the last segment we have today we're going to be talking about our favorite characters so in my opinion i'm a big fan of hermione granger i don't know because she's an icon and she's our girl boss yeah my favorite character is um uh professor mcgonagall I don't know why. I just think she's like so cool, and I love Dame Maggie Smith, who's her the actress who plays her. She's so cool as well, um, and I I think it's just a she's just one of my favorite characters because she reminds me of like some teachers I used to have, like you know the strict oh, yeah. strict teachers, but like they're they're so nice at the same time. Strict teachers, but who are also such sweethearts. Yes. 
That's what well, I think I love Professor McGonagall. I have her wand. I have like anything that could be Professor McGonagall. So, all right. Well, thanks y'all for listening and tuning into this first episode of the Raven Door and Griffin Claw podcast. Woohoo! We hope you enjoyed and hope you come back to watch another episode of our podcast. We hope to be getting a studio soon. Um, so we'll actually be on camera, which would be fun. Leave us comments in the description of this video. That way we can, you know, get what uh, you want us to do. Give us some ideas and stuff like that. All right, y'all. This is Alex and Maddie signing off. And remember, always be great.